As mentioned before, Western music consists of 12 semitones, represented by 12 notes or 12 half-step intervals. When we count through all 12 notes, we end up on the same letter again. That's known as an octave. It's the same note on a higher or lower pitch. The intervals and the numbers of half-steps associated with each type of interval have special names that we should be familiar with. The terms major and minor are reserved for second, third, sixth, and seventh intervals. The term perfect is reserved for unison, fourth, fifth, and octave intervals. Though we really don't hear it a lot with unison and octave. When an interval is a half step larger, it is said to be augmented. When an interval is a half step smaller, it is said to be diminished. From the last topic we see that all major scales are made up of these intervals. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Whole tone or whole step is two semitones. And half tone or half step is one semitone. Every major scale has a relative minor scale, which means that the two scales share the same notes. The relative minor scale is constructed by starting on the sixth degree of the major scale. Another way of finding the relative minor of a major scale is to count three semitones down in pitch from the root of the major scale. Thus, to find the relative major of a minor scale, count three semitones up in pitch from the root of the minor scale. Here is the pattern of intervals in a natural minor scale. Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. We see that major scales and minor scales share four notes, one, two, four, five. While the other three notes, three, six, seven, are different. The third, sixth, and seventh notes are one semitone lower in natural minor scales than they are in major scales. We'll look at other minor scales next time.